Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Oh, my goodness. So, if I may, if I may, can we, can we just take a, 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 a jog down memory lane just to recall how we got to the predicament that we are currently in, okay? I just, I just want to take a refresher course, all right? When it comes to, to Kanye, I guess formerly known as Kanye, now known as Ye. Um, this all started, I vaguely remember, him talking about uh, uh, Jewish people, right? He started saying things like, hey, uh, you know, anti-Semitism is too broad that, you know, uh, it encompasses damn near any form of criticism against these group of people. He then goes on to talk about as far as what does anti-Semitism mean? What does it mean to be Semitic? Who are the Semitic people? And then talking about how black people are the real Jews and everything. And I, I just remember a bunch of this stuff. I really do. Oh, then it came to his interviews talking about uh, the, the, the Jewish uh, influence within, within hip hop, right? Within, uh, within the culture, the degenerate culture that happens to be promoted and the youth exploited predominantly in the black community. That's, I, I, that's what I remember him saying, you know, give or take a few things here and there. That's, that's the gist of what he was saying. Now, can you explain to me, riddle me this, Batman, can you tell me what about any of that has to do with him uh, having some type of animus towards the Jewish people? Hmm? He said that he can't, he, I remember he put out a tweet where he said he couldn't even be uh, 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 anti-Semitic because he was Jewish. Now, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to tell you, uh, but that didn't go over so well. I remember the backlash when Balenciaga was dropping him. Everyone's calling him, oh, anti-Semitic. Anti I remember a whole bunch of that. I even called that, hey, he was going to be, he may be homeless. He may be broke by the end of the year when he first tweeted out. Sure enough, he wasn't broke, but he did lose his billionaire status. And one thing leads to another thing that leads to another thing. Then he got with uh, uh, Nick Fuentes, oh my God. Do you remember that? I was like, what are you doing, fam? This is not, this is not the way. Then he got with Milo Yiannopoulos. Then he went on uh, uh, Alex Jones. It was, <laughs> it was quite the experience. And most recently he had a, a video where he's talking about how he has no friends. No one, no one around him is a true friend. They're either looking to, to get a paycheck from him or they're looking for clout. Now, he seems to be very much self-aware. And I think a lot of the stuff that he says, it's just, it's, it's more of a, uh, to galvanize people. It's more to provoke them to, to, to think as to what does he mean by that? Do you remember when he was on this video where he said, hey, uh, yay, Hitler and Jesus, uh, third party? <laughs> <laughs> and if you think about it, it's like, yay, Hitler and Jesus, third party. Okay, that's, uh, that's interesting. That's, that's definitely interesting. Nevertheless, this has now led us <laughs> to the moment I'm going to tell you about. That is going to be uh, when uh, Ye has apologized. Now, I, I did a video, if I, if I recall, where he had already apologized to begin with. He, he's already apologized, okay? Now, he's doing another apology. <laughs> you want me to kiss your... That's right, apologize. And this apology, <laughs> this apology um, came, he, not only did he apologize, but he apologized. I'm trying to, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, to verbalize this because it's so wild. This man put out an apology in Hebrew. That's correct. He put out an apology in Hebrew talking about, I didn't mean to hurt anybody. And you know, this is uh, not my intent and I love blah, blah, blah. All this, all this, all, just a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Now, what I find funny, what I find humorous is that all the spotlight has been on what Ye has said. Has Ye harmed any Jewish people? Is Ye the one that started the conflict in Gaza, hmm? Is Ye that one that's trying to attack Netanyahu, hmm? Can someone tell me? What has Ye physically done 
to cause harm to uh, the Jewish people. I, I, I'll take it. I'll, don't worry. Take your time. OK, I'll wait. Now, in spite of that, I very much remember uh, his his personal trainer who he released the text messages talking about, hey, if you don't do it as I say, you can go back to La La Land. You know what? You won't see your kids. If we recall what happened to Ye and how they were talking about, hey, they put me in here and they started force feeding me pills. If you recall, uh, I forgot his name, Cohen, who was on The Breakfast Club, talking about, hey, I got a family to feed. I, you know, it's horrible stuff what's going on in the community, but hey, money's money, right? That's essentially what he's saying. I'm going to make a profit off of the exploitation of a race of people, even though it's to the detriment of those people. I find it very interesting that no spotlight talked about what he was saying was happening, which was happening. Okay, it's not like it was a conspiracy theory. No, it was happening in real time. You had people admitting it. You had text messages. You had the facts and the evidence, all right? I don't believe men, I don't believe women, I believe facts and evidence. The facts and evidence was, was there. Everything that he was saying, nobody, you wanna know what they did? They called him crazy, they called him anti Semitic, they called him everything but what? A liar. That's correct. They called him everything, every name in the book, but a liar. He's off his meds, all the everything but a liar. Now, I find it interesting, especially in the times, right, when we had the whole Me Too, where we're now coming out with uh, uh, black actors and actresses talking about this is unfair, the pay that they're giving me is disgusting. I'm waiting to the point where everyone gets to where Ye is. That's where I'm waiting, where people start saying, hey, listen, okay, y'all want to talk about how you've been there for us. Oh, I, that's right. I can't forget how many uh, uh, Jewish uh, actors and actresses were uh, um, trying to call out black people. Do you remember that? I remember that. It was that not, what, maybe a few weeks ago? Talking about, hey, we'll, we won't forget this as far as black people not, not helping us, not supporting us, okay? They, they, they went so far as to align us with Hamas. Think about that. I want you to understand that all of that has been scapegoated. All of that has just been, well, don't look over here. That didn't happen. But now our focus, our, we're supposed to look at Ye as if he's the bad man. He's the bad guy. I just find it interesting that everything he said happened to be factual. I won't say everything. We'll say close to everything because he said some wild stuff. OK, <laughs> but but the, the core of what he was saying was very truthful. But let's let's crucify. Yay. Right. Let's crucify. Yay. And the funny part is, I forgot it was DJ somebody. Apparently he's a Jewish DJ and he's talking about he, he it's not good enough. Honestly, the sad thing is, I don't think there's an apology out there that could make people feel better and forget about this. Now, the ADL came out and was like, well, listen, good job, yay, but actions speak louder than words, okay? Now, those actions, if those actions happen to come in the form of a million or a few million dollars to the ADL, well, then maybe, maybe we'll reconsider. Maybe we'll call off the dogs. I think, man, I think it's a... Uh, very interesting what's what's happening in this country. It's very interesting, extremely. All right. So when it comes to uh, uh, empowerment, black empowerment, if you look at powernomics, and I'm going to say this till, till you know, until my deathbed. But if you look at powernomics, you should be reading it because this way we can avoid situations like this. Absolutely avoid. We have got to uh, uh, dominate a, a sector in this country. We have to. That's the, only, that's the only way to be viable. That's the only way moving, moving forward. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe Lucas, Lucas, he was absolutely anti-Semitic. He's off his rocker, okay? He needs to take his medicine or go back to La La Land, all right? I don't know what you're talking about, all right? You starting to sound a little anti-Semitic. Um, or if you have to believe, um, I don't think uh, he's anti-Semitic at all. I, I think if you look into what anti-Semitism is here in the country, I think he's very apt in saying it's, it's, it's widely broad. I think when you come in to look into the Semitic people, what that actually means. I think um, when, it, when you look into Hollywood and what they're pushing out, when you look into entertainment and the culture that they are promoting for a dollar, I think it's very, very sick, very evil, very wicked. OK, lineage of evil, as I would say. Nevertheless, if you happen to disagree with this video, you're more than welcome to call in during disagreement days, which are typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. You call in, we duke it out. 
Either or, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think as far as his takes on anti-Semitism, his apology in Hebrew, or what the future has in store for, for Ye. Let me know. Um, feel free to share and subscribe and all oh, that fun stuff. Till next time, guys. Be amazing. You want me to kiss your... That's right. Apologize.